In this video we're going to introduce integration by substitution, a method used for more complicated integrals. So let's take an example. Let's take for example the integral of x squared 4x cubed plus 3 to the power of 10 dx. So the idea with this is the product of two functions here and it's too difficult to integrate normally or rather than being too difficult what I really mean is too time consuming because what we could do is we could multiply out all 10 of these brackets then just simply integrate in a line but there is actually a better way and the first thing we're going to do and this isn't really a hard and fast rule that I'm about to show you but it, it's it's something just to get you started so the first thing we're going to do is let u equal the innermost expression and most integration by substitutions will follow this method unless you're told otherwise but there are a few exceptions but again this is just to get us started so we're going to let u equal 4x cubed plus 3 I had a bit that's most deeply nested in the brackets Okay, step two, find du by dx and rearrange to say dx equals So the reason we're doing this, we're going to try and turn all of these x's into u's and we want to replace the integral with respect to x with the integral with respect to u. Let me show you what I mean by that. So du by dx equals 12x squared. So I've just differentiated this expression here, which means that du equals 12x squared dx, which means that dx equals 1 over 12x squared du. So we'll make it more apparent in just a second why we've done that. <clears throat> what we could have also written, I'll just write it here, dx equals du over 12x squared. However, I prefer not to write that. Whilst it's mathematically correct, I think it's more confusing because what we're used to seeing is an integral sign being like the start of a mathematical sentence and a dx or a du being the end of that sentence, almost like a bit of a Almost like a sentence opener and then a full stop. So I like to keep that convention going. I like the du or the dx to be the last thing I write in a mathematical sentence. So I'll just delete that. But for that reason, this is my preferred way of writing it. Not du over 12x squared. So the next step, step three. Rewrite integral. and attempt to eliminate all x's. Right, so we've got that integral there. So it's the integral of x squared. And now we've replaced 4x cubed plus 3. There it is there with u. So that becomes u to the power of 10 dx. Now here lies the problem, because we've got a mixture of x's and u's, and the integral is with respect to x. We now want to make that somehow with respect to u. Well here we've found that we can replace the dx with something to do with respect to u. So that's actually the equivalent of the integral of x squared, u to the 10. And instead of dx, now what we're going to write is 1 over 12x squared, du as we worked out earlier, as we rearranged earlier. Now this is where some of the magic happens because we can see now that these x squareds cancel with each other. You've got an x squared on the top and an x squared on the bottom. x squared divided by x squared is one, so we can cross those out. So now the integral that we've got to work with is the integral of a 12th u to the 10 du. And that's much like one that we've seen when you were first introduced to integration. So that's very much now doable. So, next step. D 
do integration and conclude in terms of original variable in this case that was x okay so that integral there if we add one to the power divide by the new power we get equals we'll write i for integral equals so integrating this expression here we get so add one to the power u to the 11 divided by well there's already 12 on the bottom and 12 times 11 is 132 so u to the 11 over 132 plus c and remember in terms of the original variable well u was 4x cubed plus 3 so it's 1 over 132 4x cubed plus 3 to the power of 11 plus c and there's our integration done so that's an example i'm going to call that a nice example because these x's cancel so this is the ideal scenario in an integration by substitution let's have a look now at an example where that might not be the case so let's go for the integral of x root of 4x take 3 dx now this one's equally doable using a method called integration by parts but we'll leave that one side for now we'll do this by substitution so remember before the rule was let u equal the innermost bit again it's not a hard and fast rule there are some exceptions but it's a good introductory rule until you've been exposed to the topic a bit more so let u equal 4x take 3 then at that point we found du by dx which is equal to 4 which means that du equals 4 dx 4 dx which means that dx equals 1 quarter du okay so now let's do the next step which was rewrite the integral out so it's the integral of x times the square root of u which we're going to rewrite as u to the half an integration friendly format so what we've done here we've just rewritten out this integral but replaced the 4x minus 3 there with a u and instead of dx now because we want everything with respect to u we know that dx is the equivalent of a quarter du so we'll write it like that a quarter du and let's try and simplify it a bit equals the integral of a quarter x u to the half du now in the previous example we were fortunate enough to have all the x's cancel but actually now we're left with an x in here that doesn't cancel so we can't yet perform the integration because the integrals with respect to u so we can't possibly integrate an x with respect to u given that x is a variable so if x was a constant would be fine but x is a variable so we can't integrate x with respect to u so we need to do something here um, and because the x's don't cancel there was no way of everything being eliminated what we need to do here is rearrange this to get x in terms of u so if we rearrange this to get x in terms of u then we can replace that x with u's so we've got u equals 4x minus 3 which means that u plus 3 equals 4x which means that x equals a quarter of u plus 3 now i think it helps to write as two separate terms here and you'll see why in a second it just makes multiplying our brackets which we're going to have to do in a second easier so i much prefer to write that as u, a quarter u plus three quarters so now let's replace that x there with what we're told that is equal to which is a quarter u plus three quarters so now i equals the integral of one quarter then we've got x which is a quarter u plus three quarters u to the half du 
So we've done the hard work now. The next bit's relatively straightforward. We just need to multiply these brackets out till we get an expression we can actually integrate. So first of all, I'm going to take a quarter outside the integral sign. So it equals one quarter the integral of one quarter u plus three quarters u to the half. And actually, I can take another quarter out. I can see that both of these have a factor of a quarter, so I can make this even easier to do by taking another quarter out. So 16th u plus 3 u to the half du. Just got to make sure I don't forget to write the du. I just forgot to write the du in that one. That's important that you write du. So du there. Must check for that. Equals, and let's multiply the bracket out now. A 16th the integral so u times u to the half add the powers gives u to the 3 over 2 plus 3u to the half du and now we're ready to do the integral equals a 16th so u to the 5 over 2 add 1 to the power divide by the power so dividing by 5 over 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 fifths plus 3u to the 3 over 2, add 1 to the power, times by 2 thirds. So we can see here this can be made a little bit simpler by doing 3 divided by 3 first, by cancelling the 3s, there's the plus c. And let's write it now in terms of the original variable. So it equals, so we've got a 16th, Two fifths, and our substitution was 4x minus 3. So 4x minus 3 to the 5 over 2 plus 2. 4x minus 3 to the 3 over 2 plus c. And if we multiply these out now, we get 2 80ths, which is a 40th, so a 16th times 2 fifths is 2 80ths or 1 40th, 1 40th, 4x minus 3 to the 5 over 2, plus well, 2 16ths is 1 8th, I should say 1 40th, so 1 8th, 4x minus 3 to the 3 over 2, plus c. So that's an introduction to the logic behind integration by substitution. Now, there are many other different types of integration by substitution. In an exam question, sometimes they'll give you the substitution, sometimes they won't. But the key to getting good at this is to practice loads of different types. So in my exam questions on my website, alevelmathsrevision.com, you can download those and have a go at loads of different types of integration by substitution question. But practice, practice, practice is the key to getting good at integration. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.